This is The Adoration of the Magi by an associate of Hugo van der Goes, painted in approximately 1480. This painting is one of, if not the oldest painting in the collection. So this is a fairly sort of familiar story to most of the three Magi following the star uh, to the manger where Jesus was born. Um, in the background you can see the three Magi uh, travelling by camel uh, following the star and you can actually see the star in the top of the frame with a uh, gold leaf uh, trailing towards uh, the baby in the middle. The three Magi are depicted as um, of being different ages and ethnicities uh, and this was an attempt in the medieval period to show the broad appeal of the church. Um, this is very much a medieval tactic, it wasn't used in the Bible. Uh, in the Bible it doesn't even mention how many Magi there are. In the foreground, of course, they are offering their gifts to their Messiah. They each have a gift, frankincense, uh, myrrh, gold, which is the basis, of course, for giving gifts at Christmas today. This is a theme which um, features a lot in medieval paintings around this period. Uh, this is a departure from the norm, however, because it shows um, the characters in the foreground in half length. Usually they'd be seen at distance, uh, but in this painting, it really draws you in to the, the story, into the scene. Um, and this is very much part of uh, how this was painted and what it's painted for. It was an altarpiece. It was designed um, to illustrate the sermon by the, the clergyman in the church. Um, and this really helped draw in the uh, congregation into the story. Of course, literacy in those days was restricted to the clergy and the nobility as well. Another interesting aspect of this painting is it's done in oil, which was a fairly new medium at the time. Prior to the sort of late 15th century, tempera was the medium of choice, uh, which is based on egg whites. So that was a very different um, sort of substance to manipulate on, on a panel or a canvas. But oil was more opaque and it meant that the colours were more luminous, and certainly in this painting you can see that the colours really pop out at you. They're very eye-catching, even today, you know, even after it's 500 years old, um, it still you know, has a vibrance to it. We say this is painted by an associate of Hugo van der Goes. Um, there is some doubt about this, I mean, it could be by Hugo van der Goes himself, or his circle, or his studio, no one's quite sure, although we, um, we did have a sort of Hugo van der Goes anorak come in and, and he was very much sure that this was um, associated with him. It's painted very much in the sort of Le Neverlandish style of the period. It's very detailed, lots of colour. It's almost like a sort of a bit of jewel. For me, the, the Neverlandish style was um, typified by fine detail and bright colours. Um, and I think this is a fine example of the period. Uh, you can really see every sort of wrinkle and crease in the the men's faces. It's a well-loved painting here and indeed um, at one point an art critic um, as a schoolboy wrote to the Times saying that he felt this painting deserved to be in the National Gallery. So in a way we're quite lucky to have it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like or add a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time.